This is the only place where we had a few conversations. He told me he had been trying to have a child for many years. When he almost lost all hope, I was born. So I decided to become a great hunter. Just like he was, I was devouring his knowledge when my mother wasn't watching until the very day he vanished. Did you hear that? Just as I suspected. Bandits! They set up a camp in my father's former hideout. That's unacceptable! Those bandits are no match for me. We're here. There we go! Did you learn anything about the safe house? Nothing out of the ordinary except one thing. There was a rusty axe hidden in the upper part of the cottage. The only person who visited this place besides my dad was his friend, Needon. There's one last place that I would like to visit before we return. Come with me. Oh, we go into a cave? This is the last place we visited together before he perished. It was a unique moment since he decided to share some stories about his youth. But at this time he mentioned his activities with Needon. Uh, they were hiding contraband. Oh, you could explore it one more time when I search around outside and keep watch. I better have my running shoes on. If this is a mine, there should be lights on everywhere. Okay, gotta get ready. I gotta, gotta be ready to switch when I hear a roar. Yeah, cause there's some. Is that something dead right there? That, that's dead doe. Dead, two dead does. Doe's dead. Goats? That's goat. Never mind. Sounds like doe. Don't worry about me. Just taking everything. I see potion of health. I can, probably going to need that. Potion of strength. Cudgels are not a thing. They are figments of your imagination. Oh, it was a male and a female goat. Did I get that right? Maybe they were star-crossed lovers. Oh, Star Cross Love Triangle. Whoa, Jerry Springer. Here we come. Is that it from here? Can I... oh, no way. Hey, hey, wake up. Dude, how come we can't do anything with a. There's a dead body. <laughs> that kind of constitutes something. Are we going to go out there and say, yeah, I didn't find anything, just dead body? You said your father disappeared? I found him. Oh my god, that can't- no. It's not his father. What the fuck? Take a cl closer look at the cave camp. Well, I'd like to do it in the daylight. I guess I can't. I'm just looking around quickly. To oh, I'm gonna have so much fun. Look at all the copper spears! What's up here? Oh yeah, I I'm going. This is going to be fun. Uh, Burnt Hill Campfire, check. The cavern stretching before your eyes welcomes you with a poor smell of rot and urine that flames your nostrils. Nose trills. That says nose trills. The sight is a total mess, as if a grand fight for someone's or something's life had taken place. You decide to step back since there's nothing more to this place. No, there's lots more. Suddenly a horrifying howl interrupts your thoughts. Your presence was noticed and the observer is not far behind. Brace yourself for the encounter. Shit. Shit. Oh, there's a puppy. I'm pressing the thing. Oh. Shit. I'm gonna die. I got no choice, I'm gonna die! Uh, F! F! F this! Look out, you're a prick! You send me in there to my death, you jerk! Get rid of the wolves. Well, I don't even know where the wolves are. They're umpteen thousand miles away! Is that him? Who are those guys? Who are these people? Are you guys bandits? Zemko, Lemek, you're a pelk, you're a dick, quickly. Oh, this is a restricted area, I can't use it. I need it to be daytime, you get more light in the daytime. Oh wait, wait, don't, don't, don't do anything, I might have a potion of uh, night, 
Every time I'm just making sure he's not coming out. Okay, we should be fine. Fuck, bear his last words. Potion of? Potion of night vision, yes. Ha-ha! What? Oh. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I am so angry right now. Who are those people? Are they still gonna be there? Sometimes this game. Sometimes this game. All right, we're back. You guys are all still here, eh? I'm gonna have to take these on one by one. Why are you in th third person? Have I always been in third person? Going to admit, I don't really check. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. I said don't move. Here we go, guys. She's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, get out of the cave. No, I'm gonna go searching the cave now. I had to walk here twice. I'm gonna friggin' search the cave for shit that I can steal. Uh, bronze pickaxe, nice. I guess that looks to be it. Unless something is seriously hidden in here, but I could always come back a third time. I'm not bitter about that. It just seems that way. Alright, now it's worth it. We got a bronze pickaxe. It's well worth dying. Talk to the unexpected guests. Ooh, that's you guys. Hey. Thank you, thank you, my friend. What would we do without your aid? These vermin, those vermin nested in our caves for days. Are you on the run? What are you doing here? What kind of a question is that? Of course we are. Those beasts chased us out of our own home. We were waiting for a proper moment to smoke them out until you two morons came from nowhere. Ouch. No need to be rude. Keep testing my patience, bitch. Forgive my brash words and manners. I go by the name Zemko, and this is my grumpy brother Lemek. We are nothing but humble hermits living peacefully in the deep woods, far from the village turmoil. We are grateful for your unselfish aid, but naturally, nothing goes for free, as my mama used to say. Take these pieces of bronze. We have no use for pretties. Pretties? Like this one. Okay. That's an interesting piece. Where did you get it? Ugh. We found it under the pile of rocks and tangled in scraps and rotten cloth. Nothing valuable worth your time is left there. No, not anymore, because I took it all. Now nah, you've got your reward. Leave us be. Scram, you two. What did they want from you? They seem to be grateful in their own weird way for making their cave safer again. Primarily to get on my nerves, it seems. It could, I couldn't understand a single word coming out of their rotten tooth mouths. Uh, you can go first one. I noticed they gave you something small. What was it? It's nothing special, just an old bronze pin. A bit tarnished on top. Take a look, if you wish. That shape. This is impossible. It's a symbol of our village leaders. They've been carrying it on their chest for generations until... Until my father went missing. He was in possession of the only pin that I know of. This means it has to be his. Where did they get it from? Did they... What did they do to him? The talkative one mentioned this pile of rocks. He said they found it recently and that there's no value for them. We have to search for it. Maybe there's something under else under the boulders. Let's take a closer look. I think you may not be happy with what you find. Basically what that says. Sure, I love treasure hunts. Search the pile of rocks. This one. You stand before a large pile of rocks. The boulders surely fell from a nearby rock wall, but they also seem to have been arranged in the shape of a barrow. Search through the gaps. Put the larger stones aside. Ah, uh, it's big stones. A few empty bottles appear before you. There's no doubt these two hermits searched this pile. Hello, puppy. I can hear you. Search through the gaps. You find an old tanned leather. It may be a remnant of old contraband hidden here years ago. Dig in deep into the loose rock material. I don't know why I said that like that. After a few grabs with your hand, a large bone emerges from the rocks. <laughs> Surrounded by other smaller fragments. They are soon followed by a shoe with a fossilized foot still in it and a ragged cloak-like material. Wrap the remains in the cloak and take them with you. 
Hey man, did you watch all that? You saw what I did there? Can I... Can't possibly see anything. No, oh, it is blocked. I saw what you found there. Is it... Is it him? I can't believe it. This looks like an intentional burial. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, somebody killed him, caused an avalanche. And to bury him. You stupid. The cloth somewhat resembles his cloak. Through the color, though the color is faded, but that's nothing. Look at the bones. They're all in a terrible condition. Was my father torn into pieces by some wild animals? Was that his end? Or did someone help him die? Judging by the condition of his remains, it has to be something strong and cunning. I'd say the wild got him. It's hard to say. Let's not make any hasty decisions. This pile of rocks is a mess, not to mention the condition of the remains. Someone must have covered them with a layer of stone. Wild beasts are not so thoughtful. It's right, it was somebody else. Could you give it to me, please? I, you're holding it wrong. That's what she said. Of course. It's so light. Forgive me. Are you still in possession of the mysterious axe? Take it to Neden. No one will tell you more about it than him, even if he does not talk much in general. I'd never expect our little trip to the woods to end like this. I need some time alone now. It's understandable. Take care. We gotta walk.